Speaking of VDK, have you any experience with ALDC? Let's read this. ALDC from Murphy and Son is added at the time of yeast pitching and prevents the formation of diacetyl fermentation. As a result, diacetyl can be kept below the flavor threshold, ensuring the quality, flavor, and consistency of every brew. This is from... Uh, a marketing thing. But there's some good info in here. Without the need for long maturation, tank space is increased so you can turn beers more quickly because you don't have to worry about a diacetyl rest. ALDC is an enzyme that effectively bypasses the production of diacetyl during fermentation to make acetonin, a normal fermentation by byproduct, which has very little flavor. If this is your first time using ALDC, use a higher dose, four to five grams per US barrel, and incrementally lower the rate with successive batches to an optimum rate. Is hop creep kicking up diacetyl? This can help, one to five grams per barrel. So some of that was stuff was some stuff that I that I stuck together. Yeah. So a lot of times when people think diacetyl, they they, they think lagers, but this can also play into the uh, the conversation of, of of making modern hoppy beer. Um, once again, going to that conversation with Vinny Chalerzo at all over on Craft Beer and Brewing, they were talking about utilizing this enzyme um, because it can help combat diacetyl that forms at the hands of hot creep. There's many ways this could be used. I have not played with this yet. Will I play with it? I think you know I will. And, I, and I'm curious um, because I'm trying out some spooning. I'm, I'm doing some stuff on the lager side. I'm, I'm just always so excited about those lager beers that I'm making because they're such a true litmus. Like they're such a true test. Like sometimes like when I'm slapping around IPA and stuff, sometimes it's hard to judge when the, when the flavors are so bold and everything. But when you get lean, baby, when you get lean with a little hoppy pills, it, it, it's where it's at. So if you have not checked out ALDC or you have heard about that, please drop comments uh, down, uh, down below on this. I think it's interesting. I don't know if it's so much available on the homebrew side. Um, it doesn't sound like it is via the, the dosing suggestions. Um, but if you have or any of my people on the pro side, check that thing out um, because I'm already using Clarity Firm and it's something that I can add at the exact same time. And I do know some people that have done uh, that have won some big fat awards using ALDC. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to name names, but I know there's some some local some local people by us. Uh, that have done that. So uh, it, it is something worth checking out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.